as you can see, and here we are on top of a hill, a mile over that hilltop, and you're into West Yorkshire and Keithley. Two miles behind us, you're into Cone and Lancashire, and here we are, stood in North Yorkshire. Sheep farmer David Airy is a worried man. With land spanning five miles across three counties, he's faced with criminals targeting his farm from all directions, and it's getting worse. In the last sort of 18 months, it has got beyond a joke. We were being visited at least once a fortnight. I would put it down to two different groups. One group were pinching tools and small items, but our biggest problem is our quad bikes. In fact, in the Craven district, theft of quad bikes has increased by 100% in the last year. Cross-border thieves know farms in North Yorkshire are easy targets. It's organised crime, so this isn't people just sort of opportunistically nicking a quad bike. They're doing it for a reason, they've got somewhere to sell it, and they're making money out of it, uh, and it's organised. And the farmers know that, um, but the police are really not on to the organised nature of it in the way that they should be, and that's a big area for them to look at. With equipment costing hundreds of thousands of pounds being kept in remote, isolated areas, sophisticated, sometimes dangerous gangs of criminals know exactly what they're looking for. We know organised crime gangs are working not just across Europe but across the world and that will be paying for other things. That will be paying for large quantities of drugs to come back in. That will be paying for debts to be paid off. That will be paying for firearm smuggling. The rise in rural crime has led some farmers to resort to extreme measures to protect their property. This year we're seeing people bring in things like uh, earth banks, the sort of medieval fortifications last years a thousand years ago. They're putting up stockade-like fences around their farms and using these in conjunction with high-tech security like uh, CCTV. The fear now is that if the police can't help, farmers could be tempted to take the law into their own hands. God help me if I ever caught one in the act, you know, and, and it's wrong, but, you know, I, I, I couldn't say what I would do to them. North Yorkshire remains one of the safest places to live in the UK, but with high crime areas like West Yorkshire just a few miles away, it remains an easy target for cross-border criminals. Ian White, BBC Look North.